So I'm going to be uh, repainting the old Batco here. So the first thing I did was hire some people to come out here and degrease it. They come out here and uh, had one of those steam high powered uh, pressure washers. Had three guys come out here, they spent about two and a half hours on it. They charged me a hundred dollars. So I gave them a hundred and twenty five. I figured that was well worth it. I didn't have to deal with crawling all under this thing, getting all the grease off of it. They did a pretty good job. Um, there's still a few little places here and there, but to get all that nasty grease out of there and everything, well worth it for me to pay somebody. Um, I've been scraping the decals off. I've been using, uh, still got to scrape the rest of those off and sand that down, but I got all the ones here off the, the boom and everything. I used uh, some goof off, painted it on there with a paintbrush, and you come over there with a razor blade and it scrapes right off. You let it soak for about 30 minutes and hit it again. I started scraping that, but I broke the razor blade and only had one, so I had to go get some more. But uh, it peels it right off. I'm going to be uh, repainting the whole machine. Be about two gallons of case power tan. I scraped most of that off. I was scraping it while he was power washing. But uh, yeah. Got it all cleaned up pretty good. I'm gonna let it dry off here in the sun. And uh, we'll probably paint the brown first, then tape all that off and paint the yellow. So, right now I'm gonna finish scraping these stickers off while it dries. And go ahead and paint the hood brown and the top here and everything, and get everything taped up and hit the yellow tomorrow. So, I got so excited. Uh, that I was ready to paint it. I forgot to get any uh, videos of it all taped up before I painted it. But here it is after I painted it. I've taken off some of the tape on uh, stuff that uh, is already painted and I don't have to keep uh, protected anymore. So I'm just going to throw away my $100 uh, Harbor Freight Air uh, Airless Paint Sprayer. It's so damn clogged up and not really clogged up, but by the time I use it again. It won't worth buying twenty dollars worth of paint thinner to get it cleaned out. So I did save the nozzle. I spent twenty-seven dollars for a new nozzle, so I saved it. But here she is. Took uh, two whole gallons of paint. Got everything all taped up. Like I said, for the most part, going to be painting the brown tomorrow. I didn't paint the engine. So the hood is brown. And I'm gonna put the new decals on. I don't think it turned out too bad for my first uh, paint job here. Even got the rims. A little bit of overspray, but I can get that off. Um, and then the rocks, I gotta paint those too tomorrow. But I'll paint the hood. And then I get me a big old piece of plastic and lay over everything so I can uh, paint the rocks. Hopefully I won't get too much overspray. I'm using rattle cans for that, so I don't have too terribly much overspray, but I'll take the fenders up good and everything. But uh yeah, I already got my new decals in. So I should have them on tomorrow. Let this sit overnight and cure out. Maybe I can at least stand on it up there tomorrow. But all in all, I think it turned out pretty good for my first paint job ever on a machine. Although, I'm not going to lie, I got a little run here or there. I'm still learning, but, uh, yeah. I'm happy with it. It'll probably get all scratched up anyways, me running it through the woods and everything, so. But it makes me feel better that it's, it's not rusty, so. There she is. So here is the next day. It's pretty windy, so I had to pull it over here in the driveway beside the building. Kind of block some of the wind, but I got the uh, the brown painted. I got it uh, all taped up in plastic this morning, best I could. I think I got a little drip here or there, but it'll be okay. So I got everything taped up and painted all the brown. It took uh, I bought three cans, spray cans, but only took two. I didn't paint the top. Um, I'll probably do that when the wind quits blowing. So I don't get spray over everything, but 
I think it's coming out pretty good here. I'm gonna let this dry and take the uh, all the plastic off and see if I can put all the new decals on. Even got the hood painted. Makes it look a hell of a lot better, I think. So I'm gonna get, uh, like I said, let this dry a little bit. Take all this plastic off. We're gonna have a shiny looking backhoe. So here she is all uh, cleaned up and decaled up. I'll just put all the decals on it. I will uh, go ahead and note that the decals I got were not the brown ones. Uh, they ended up sending me the black ones, which was on the older series, but I think they look fine. I went ahead and put them on. So, other than that, she is back to the way she came. I am very pleased with the way it turned out for my... Uh, first ever paint job sure does make it look so much better Since I got the wrong decals, the uh, back ones right here were about a foot too long. So, you'll notice it kind of stepped down right there. I cut out uh, four of the little uh, dashes here. And then just put the uh, remaining on there. I think it still turned out alright. So, a set of decals at the dealer would be an ungodly amount. And I found some online for like 85 bucks. So, I guess you get what you pay for. That one's actually brown. <laughs> So, that one matches. But, uh, like I say, the dash is starting to break apart and stuff. I assume that was gray. I don't know if it was brown and faded or not, but got all the brown repainted and everything, and I'm happy with it. So, I gotta wait, uh, I'll wait another day and let the paint really cure out real good before I start playing with it any I'll branch it to the slide I'll just scrape it. So I'm gonna let it said uh let it cure for forty eight hours so it's been twenty four now. So well there she is. All nice and painted up. 